First of all, I would like to repeat again, as uh, um, Federal uh, Councillor uh, Doris Leutart has uh, made, uh, thanks uh, to the Swiss experts, but our guests, of course, the organizers of the event, and uh, of course, uh, uh, our guest, uh, uh, University of Bern. Uh, this is a, a very important uh, uh, moment in the outreach process of uh, the fifth assessment report. The political conclusions for the Swiss government have been drawn by uh, Madame Leutard, and uh, you have uh, heard very clearly her statement. Uh, I would say that, uh, and Thomas has been uh, introducing the item, that the work is uh, not finished. Um, outreach, I have mentioned, but also, as Thomas has, uh, has mentioned, the future uh, arrangements that uh, we are looking for in the IPCC for improving the products and the communication of uh, these uh, uh, products. Uh, Thomas has presented uh, his views. We welcome these views as a focal point uh, uh, since 19 years, uh, by the way. Uh, we uh, are, uh, as uh, Madame Leutard said, uh, uh, Switzerland uh, heavily uh, involved and uh, uh, decided to contribute uh, to uh, the process and the elaboration of uh, this uh, background information that uh, policy making needs. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, I would say that uh, from uh, our perspective, uh, there is a need of an extended uh, scoping uh, uh, process, and in that sense, uh, I want you, <laughs> the Swiss community, uh, that uh, uh, is necessary uh, um, for uh, discussing, well, the lessons that we can draw from uh, the fifth assessment report, but other works of the IPCC, and what we uh, foresee for the future. And I can announce you that uh, I'm working closely uh, with uh, Proclim uh, to organize a, a seminar before the next plenary of the IPCC that is going to discuss uh, these matters and uh, that will take place at the end of February in uh, Nairobi. So um, somewhere between uh, uh, January and February, we are going to mobilize you again and uh, look for your uh, uh, good uh, ideas. Uh, allow me to, to finish now uh, on a, a few personal uh, touches. First of all, I would like uh, to apologize on behalf of what Thomas has shown all the delegates. Uh, apologize to the co-chairs, uh, uh, to the chair who is not there, to the co-chairs, to the authors for these uh, uh, big uh, uh, discussions that we have maintained in the course of our days. Uh, and uh, just to give you uh, an example, uh, successively uh, the uh, time in the night has been increasing and uh, last Friday we stayed there till five in the morning, uh, starting at 11 on sa Saturday and so on. So you can imagine. Not because I would say delegates uh, disagree with uh, the scientific content of what you uh, have produced, but more on the way we have to communicate. Um, which words have to be chosen, et cetera, et cetera. We had some disputes uh, about uh, collective action or cooperative action and so on. This to give you a flavor of what uh, the uh, discussions uh, are going on. Uh, I think that uh, we have all to recognize that this is an extraordinary uh, project of, of uh, the, the, the humanity uh, that uh, is lasting since uh, 25, more than 25 years, and is very successful. It's inspiring uh, other uh, processes, uh, and uh, myself conducting also the Swiss delegation to the IPBS, uh, and uh, colleagues are uh, talking about uh, the panel resource from UNDP to be uh, reproducing uh, the ways IPCC work. Uh, so, you know, looking for a discussion on green economy, etc. So, IPCC is seminal and I think it's really an incredible project of the humanity to put together all the knowledge. And of course, I, I cannot resist to quote, and this will be my last words, uh, I will quote uh, the uh, Persian uh, poet and uh, Sufi mystic uh, Rumi uh, from the 13th century. And uh, he said, uh, you know, truth uh, was a mirror in the hands of God it fell and broke into pieces. Everybody took a piece of it 
and they look at it and thought they had the truth. Well, the IPCC is putting all these persons and all these pieces together to get the truth. Thank you very much.